What's up guys and welcome back to another video on the channel and today we got the first soul on the road to glory division rival rewards division 2 rank 2 rewards i'm really excited for this one we packed some big big players so i hope you enjoyed this video once again thanks for supporting the previous video make sure to drop a like in this one leave a comment let me know what you like what you don't like and subscribe for more hit that bell button so you're notified for the next video so yeah enjoy this one and peace all right so the division rival rewards this is gonna be a big episode guys i mean we got division two rank three i couldn't get no rank two rewards i couldn't get a rank one it was just too many points and my team just wasn't good enough but rank two is still really good uh as you'll see rank two division rivals completed in division two uh four mega packs and treble and four jumping on gold uh gold packs also on treble uh first of all i want to say in division rivals rewards you have either to choose between coins tradable and untradable rewards if i was you on normal road to glory i'll choose either coins or tradable coins if you want to improve your squad tradables because if you pack something good but you're not going to use him so for example edison who's a goalkeeper rate traded maybe you want to sell them because he's a goalkeeper and you might want to use the coins for a better position like an attack or something like that uh treble rewards or coins is your best option now in my case i'm on a road to glory first owner so i can't buy players and all i can use are players that are packing packs so and trebles are the best option for me if i get someone really good uh like edison for example uh i'll use them as we can see in the first pack we got a board I thought it was going to be someone like Alan or something, but it was Oscars, but it's not that bad. Uh, we can use him on an SBC later on. But yeah, uh, if you are on a normal road to glory, I would advise you to take either coins or packs, tradables. Me, myself, I would probably choose be, uh, to, to pack to 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 get the tradables if you are on a normal road to glory. But in my case, I'll take the tradables. And the, as you will see, towards the end, we packed a big, big player for the series. But from this, I only wanted players for, for my team, really, for my teams. Someone good. Didn't need to be an insane player, but all I needed are useful, better players than what I already have. Yeah, first pack, it wasn't that bad. Oscar in the first pack, 83 rated from the Chinese League. It's not that bad, so it can be used as a super sub, but in my case, it'll probably go eventually into an SBC. Second German Premium Gold pack. As you can see, it's not a walkout. I realized it wasn't bored. Who was it? Ariola. And you know what? As I told the chat, Ariola is a really good addition to the club because on our uh, Premier League team, we only had a 78 rated uh, Martinez, I believe, from uh, Aston Villa. So Ariola is a good addition, as you'll see also uh, Hunter Camps also. Really good pack, not bad. As I said, only want good players, decent players to improve the squad a little bit. Um, yeah, that's all I, I was hoping for. Just small improvements to the squad. Uh, this is the first weekend, uh, well, not weekend league, the first division rival rewards. So that was all I could ask for. Uh, now we move on to the third pack. As you saw, it wasn't a walkout. It wasn't a board. So who is it? It's Park Walker, who wasn't that bad, actually. I mean, Park Hawkins pace is not that important this year, so 17th pace is not bad either. But shooting, really nice shooting. 84 shooting, uh, not really not bad at all. In New Year's as well, it's not a bad play for the La Liga setup. I will be as well, not really that bad, but we already have Pulisic, so it's not going to be used. So it'll probably go into an SBC later on. But yeah, again, not a bad pack. Only three packs in, and we've already packed some really, really nice players to improve the squads. Um... Now we're going to the fourth pack. We are halfway through the rewards now. As you'll see, the jump premium go pack. Last one of these. What we will get. As you'll see, it's now a walkout. I was just looking for the for the pack at the end to see if it was a board. It wasn't a board. It was a Sudamerican uh, card, a uh, Libertadores card. So there might be something still inside the pack. There wasn't. Uh, there was Lala, those who was who is a really good player. Uh, for the league and squad i mean 
right wing back, as you we all know from last year, Lala's uh, from a season called Insane Card. So he's not a bad card. Decent pace, decent defending, not bad at all. But yeah, from the gym, Jumbo Premium Gold Packs, we didn't get amazing plays, but we got some nice plays to improve the squads. Now, for Mega Packs, all I wanted from here was a couple of boards, maybe an inform of some sort. Hopefully, a walkout. I was hoping for a walkout. Of course, everyone won, they opened the rewards, especially because they had Division 2 rewards. I was hoping for at least one walkout, but. You'll see here, it wasn't a walkout, I was looking for the board, it wasn't a board, so I was only hoping for something decent, it wasn't, it was Yoko Slu, who's not that great, to be honest, we have better players already in our squad, like Coughlin, uh, Kalu is not a bad super sub for the Liga squad, but yeah, from this pack, there wasn't much to be happy about, although there was a Hunt and Shadow Campsile, which is really good, but they're quite common to uh, this year last year they were quite rare or i mean really rare because they also increased the price range last year but this year they're not that that impressive to pack so it's good but nothing to rage about now three mega packs left we're hoping for a good play from these packs uh as we saw in the division rivals as i noticed from the division rival placement matches not placement matches uh normal matches in division two I was calling his improvement. As you see here, it's a center back from uh, Uruguay, Atletico Madrid, Jimenez. We already have Jimenez, but the one we have is treble. This one is untreble, so we're going to swap the two and sell the treble one that we got in our club. Alonso is not a bad pool at all, but we already have Digne, so he's going to be using it to an SBC eventually, most likely. Uh, again, the rest of the pack also, there's some consumables that we'll use eventually. I managed the engine cams out, which is good. Uh, and some more fodder. Now here I swap Jimenez with the triple one I've got in the club. Stones as well. I'm going to be selling all of these eventually. Uh, just get more coins. And with the coins, I'll just be doing more and more SBCs eventually. And yeah, Parolo was already in trailable, so I had to quick sell them. Uh, nothing, nothing that bad. And now, this is a big one. This is the one you've been waiting for. Two packs left. A mega pack. You'll see here the biggest pool of the series so far. In my opinion, better than Ter Stegen in the first pack. I mean, Ter Stegen in the first pack is pretty fucking legit, but this pack, I saw the walkout. I saw the French flag. I was like, Mbappe. I saw the center forward. So I thought it was Griezmann, but it's not. It was Benzema. Griezmann is a struck this year, so. It could only be Benzema. 89 rated Kareem Benzema from Real Madrid. This is the best pool we've had in the series so far. Better than Ter Stegen because Ter Stegen is a goalkeeper, so he doesn't he's not used that much uh while we play in the game. So yeah, Benzema, really good player for the series. 74 pace. Again, pace is not really that important, but 87 dribbling, really good. 85 shooting, really good. 81 passing, 76 physical. This is going to be an insane player for our squad. I'm going to be using every team I use. As long as uh, La Liga and the best of 11 in my squad. So yeah, Benzema, really good player. Renato August as well, not even that bad. Arias, good improvement. I didn't know he went to Leverkusen in the in the Bundesliga. But he's also really good left uh, right back for the Bundesliga. We needed one. Uh, Alex... Um, Oxlade Chamberlain, also really good for the Premier League squad. We also uh, we use him right now in the Premier League squad. But yeah, man, this was really good rewards. I couldn't be happy about it. Uh, it's going to improve the squad really a lot, and it's going to be really good for the series. As you'll see, Visor was the only duplicate player. We're able to sell him eventually, and yeah, man. I mean, I couldn't be happy with the first rewards. In this account all i wanted was some decent players and we walk out with a a couple of boards a walkout and as you'll see in this next pack the last pack of the rewards you'll see us packing an inform i say it was a walkout but i saw it was a board i saw it, i noticed it was a inform polish goalkeeper i didn't know who this was from i believe that's berlin it was GKA, which I believe 
a goalkeeper from Bundesliga, and you know what? It's not even that bad. We needed a, a goalkeeper from the Bundesliga. So to get untradeable, uh, first on uh, team of the week, goalkeeper from Bundesliga is really good. Ferran Torres as well. It's not going to be used, but it's going to be used on a uh, SPC bench. A shadow cam style as well. Not bad even. So yeah, division rival rewards. First of the year, first of this account. Good and awesome more. We got a walkout, a couple of boards, an inform. Amazing. So yeah, I couldn't be happier. And you'll see in the next episode, we're playing with the uh, new teams. But yeah, this was the end of the division rival rewards. Now we're going to move on to the mocky matchup packs. This is just a little a little extra to the video. Uh, the mocky matchups came out just as I was finishing this video. So first team, really cheap. As you can see, just some Turkish league players. Uh, some English players, really real low rated. And yeah, really cheap, really easy to do. I didn't have to spend much coins, maybe like maximum 500 coins. So really cheap for small rep, gold players pack, really good value. Then the next squad, again, you got to use those uh, non-major league players, like the MLS player, Chinese league players, uh, Switzerland league players. Yeah, really cheap players. Uh, didn't have to spend a penny on these. SBC really easy, really quick. For the pack we got really good. The third squad, all, the only thing I needed to do was to change that right back to a right wing back to get some chemistry at right wing. Uh, apart from that, really cheap. I already, already, already had all these silver players in the club, so didn't have to buy them. Um, I believe I only had to buy that goalkeeper silver, uh, that Ukrainian keeper. But apart from that really cheap squad, I mean, I only had to spend, uh, again, 500 coins for another pack, really good. These marking matchups were probably the best marking matchups yet. Uh, there's only been two, but these ones are, were really good uh, in terms of the pricing and the packs you got in return. Again, this squad really easy. Uh, some silver players were 200 coins each. I really had most of them. I only had to buy probably like three of them. Uh, the French League players, I'm not going to use those two regal, not regals, the normal gold players. So I was fine with putting him in just to get some chemistry. And yeah, that was the end of the marking matchups. Uh, really cheap. Probably in total I spent about 2,500 2, coins and 3,500 coins between that for five packs. Two of them silver and three of them really nice gold player packs. Uh, yeah, I was really happy. Again, all we want from packs is either... Good players to use on our squads or decent players who will be like, okay, we'll sell them and do more SBCs. This series is literally trading. Uh, if you get a good player, decide whether to sell or to keep. Uh, most of the players that we get, we probably will keep uh, because it's first owner. But if again, if it's, for example, Edison or let's say All Black, if I get All Black, I'll probably be selling uh, Ter Stegen. Or that way around, it just matters what I prefer. But yeah, so far so good. Uh, these two two silver player packs is just good because uh, we're going to be using this in SBCs eventually. All these silvers will be used 100%, all of them. Uh, I thought this guy was worth a little bit because he's from Southampton. And good position, so maybe it was worth something, not really. But he will be when the league SBCs come out. Now, three gold player packs to go. Um, I will open the premium legend player pack first, and the premium gold player pack, then the small rare gold player pack to end. Uh, again, just some nice players. That's all I wanted. I think this was a board. Uh, it wasn't a board, actually. It was just a, a rare gold, Jonathan Tha. Although they. Killed his pace from last year. He had really decent pace last year. This year he only had 66. So we're not going to be using him in the, in the squad. Because we really have better players. But not a bad pack again. Just some fodder for the SBCs eventually. Uh, Ty is always a good player for the SBCs. Uh, then the premium gold players pack. We'll see what we get. He wasn't a, a walkout. He wasn't a boy. He was just a... Red goal player, who is it? And it is Jovic. Jovic is a really good card. I use him in my other account. He's really good. Again, pace is not that important. It's only dribbling and shooting. 
passing is also important, but for striker, doesn't need that much passing. So Jovic again, really good card, really nice card. I'm gonna be using him on our um, uh, La Liga setup, 100%, and probably our um, main setup, the best of 11 first on the in our club. Bear last pack, not a walkout, but it is a board. A Belgian, as you'll see, there we go. Center back, I was like Vertonghen from Benfica, no. Adrovarelt from Tottenham, 85 rated, 63 uh, pace, not the best, but it's fine. At this point in the game, it's fine. 72 passing, really good. 87 defending, really, really good. And 79 physical. This is going to be a really nice card because we needed a center back from the Premier League. So yeah, really good. But yeah, guys, um, amazing episode. I'm really happy with the results we got. And yeah, make sure to like the video, subscribe for more. And yeah, I love you all. Peace.